Hey there. Hey there, everybody. In this episode, we're going to be making a Pong game or a two-player paddle game or a soccer game, whatever you want to call it. So first things first, come on up here and change this to your title. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is get rid of Spritey, and we're going to start adding some backgrounds. So um, I love soccer, and so I'm going to keep a little soccer theme going in the uh, backdrop. So I want to delete that first one, and I'm actually just going to change this to just soccer, soccer co costume. Now, I'm going to add two more costumes to this one background. And the reason why is because when player one um, reaches a score, it's going to jump to that costume and say, hey, you won. So I'm going to uh, find that other soccer or two of them. There it is. I'm going to call this soccer. I'm going to call this one like blue wins. And then I'm going to duplicate this and just change the name here to yellow wins. And I'm going to come back to those a little bit later. Okay, so back to the first background, jump into the code, and now we want to add some sprites. All right, so um, first things first, we need to add a ball. So there's all kinds of different balls you can pick. Uh, I'm just going to go with this one, um, and you can always, again, change the size of it. And the cool thing about coding is you can kind of change the size of this and you can adjust your codings and you can make this your own personal one. Again, you don't have to use my backgrounds and things like that to kind of customize yours uh, as we go along. So um, first things first, let's just make sure that when we start the game that um, it starts with this background and let's see here um switch costume background we want on this one and we want uh the ball to go to zero zero for right now um another thing we want to do is we want to keep score so I don't think we've done this in some activities yet. So we want to create some variables. So we're going to create a variable and we're going to call it blue. And you can see it pops up up there. And I'm actually going to move my blue over here. And we're going to create another one and we're going to go yellow. Now the reason why I'm going blue and yellow is because that's our school colors. And it's just easy. It's just fun that way. Okay. Um, we are going to set the blue and we're going to set the yellow to zero, zero. So whenever we press green, we start the game, starts at zero, zero, ball starts in the middle, and we're ready to go. Okay. Um, a couple of things. We can get into the kind of controlling of the ball. Uh, so we're going to say, like, forever, the ball will move five and um if it touches an edge where is that button if it touches an edge it'll bounce okay so i love building uh and coding with scratch i also love taking a time out and just making sure everything's working up until now so if right now like 10 is too fast for you change that to five and you can play it and you can see all right, that's a little bit slower. And you can adjust that later. All right. Now let's start getting into adding some paddles or some players, right? So we need to add a sprite. And I'm going to make a yellow sprite. Again, it's our school colors. And I'm going to grab a square. I'm going to go right in the middle there. And you can see it shows up. You can make them as big as you want, as thin as you want. I'm going to move it slightly over here. I'm going to make it, I don't know, maybe a little bit skinnier. 
maybe a little bit shorter. Yeah. Whatever works for you guys. Just don't make them giant so the game's impossible. Um, okay. I'm going to call this. This is my yellow. It's going to go on this left side here, and we want it to move up and down. So to make it move up and down, um, we want to get into event, of course. When we hit that, we want to forever move, and we want it to move up and down. And so that is the Y axis. So I've got to go to um, forever. I need a couple if statements. If I press, let's see. Here we go. If I use the key, um, and this is going to be on my left side, so my left side of my keyboard. So I'm going to use the W and S to go up and down. So if I hit the W button, then it's going to whoops, move. Um, I want to move up and down. So I want to change my Y by like five. Um, and you know what, I can just right click on that, can duplicate, put that right back in there and say, all right, I want S and I want this to change to negative five. And when I press, all right, we're moving up and down. And you can see, uh, all right, it's going right through there. Nothing's being scored yet. That's okay. We'll get to that in just a sec. Another thing I want to point out is down here at the bottom of your screen, maybe you've never noticed this. This is called your backpack. And backpack is great because I can duplicate this and I can drop stuff in my backpack. So if you're ever making games or you're coding something and you're like, wait, I'm going to need that later, toss it in your backpack for a later and right now is later. So. I'm going to go here and again, I'm going to call this uh, paddle, paddle one and I'm going to go here and I'm going to grab the paint and I'm going to change the color to blue. Move me out of the way, excuse me. And I'm going to move this, center that. You know what? Here's a it's easy if you just kind of line it up right next to it. And you're like, hey, I can figure out how tall. And you kind of just eyeball it from there. And then I can say, all right, let's move this over here. And let's go to the code. Let's go to the backpack. Let's grab it and drop it right there. Okay. Now. You can see they're both moving at the same time when I press W and B. I want my sprite on the right side there. I want that to move up when I press my up arrow and when I press my down arrow. So now I can have two friends playing at the same time, sitting next to each other. Of course, remembering physical distancing right now and still playing. Um, don't forget to wash your hands after you play. I don't know why I need to say that. It's not all right. Okay. Here we go. Now we're gonna start adding some scoring. So right now is a great place to take a pause, uh, make sure everything works and be like, all right, we're cool. And then we're gonna finish this up right now. So here we go. I'm gonna add just two more sprites. So let's go here and let's grab paint. And I'm gonna make this like bright red. And I'm gonna make a super skinny. I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna make it really tall. And it is going to be like my end zone. And it, sometimes it's pretty tough to like get it to drop on there. So I'm gonna put it like right there. Sometimes you can get it right on the edge. Um, and so I'm gonna call this, I'm gonna call this left side. Right click on this, I'm gonna duplicate it, and I think you can guess what I'm gonna call this one. 
right side. Remove this over here, right behind there. All right, and so what we're gonna do is that's gonna be our trigger to then add some scores. Okay. Let's jump back over to the ball coding because now, believe it or not, we are all done coding for all of these except for the ball. Everything else is going to go right on to the ball coding. Um, so that being said, let's start adding a whole bunch of if statements. All right, this is going to all be with inside this forever uh, loop and we want it to move and we want it to bounce off and we want it to say all right if we ever are touching the paddle one um, then we want it to turn wait that's a motion Duh. we want it to turn and we want it to move five. And we want it to turn like 180. By doing that, um, so the paddle one, it'll hit paddle one, it'll shoot back. But now you'll notice it just goes back and forth. And really, that's not how it works. So what we can do we can grab this out of there and we can get in here and we can say all right if it ever touches this duplicate this paddle one or paddle two oh i forgot to rename that or paddle two, then we want it to pick a random close to 180. So you might be like, okay, I'm gonna be close to 180. I'm gonna say 175 to 185. That's nice. I'm, I'm gonna make it even bigger. I'm gonna be like 155, 195, 200. Now you'll notice we've got a little bit more of turn to it. Okay. So far, so good. Now let's start adding some scores. All right. So if it ever touches, if it ever touches, um, if it ever touches the left side, then we want to start adding some scores. So we want to change. Um, left side we want to change the blue by one and then we want it to go back to go to zero zero okay there we go we can see it's counting that's working all right let's duplicate this and let's say right side and change that to yellow. All right. There we go. Boom, boom. All right. And then if you change that, and you can make sure that it scores. Now, right now, the score will just keep on counting and counting and counting and counting. So you want to might maybe make it like end. So let's do that. Let's make an end game. So let's say if our blue 
never equals, feel free, you can keep it at 50, but that might be a really long game. I'm going to say 7. Uh, then we're going to broadcast. And I'm going to say blue, blue wins. Um, now I'm going to duplicate that, put that back there. I'm going to change this out for yellow. Trash this. And I'm going to say, all right, if blue ever hits seven, then broadcast blue wins. If yellow ever equals seven, then I'm going to say yellow wins. Now we got to make those. Um, also, before we go any further, we want to then um, um, when you get that broadcast, so when I receive blue wins, and when I receive yellow wins, we want to stop the game. But we also want to switch the background. Remember how we made that yellow wins and blue wins? So switch background to blue wins, yellow wins. Now let's go to those backgrounds real fast. Click here, find the backgrounds here to blue winds you can then quickly type you know on here maybe even in the right colors blue winds and then in this one change color to yellow winds. All right, I'll just jump back here into the code. Let's see if it works. Again, you can always speed it up a little bit you can always change it and I mean I hate to even suggest that you could even cheat a little bit and you could be like okay I'm gonna be blue and anytime blue hits two then I'm gonna win nah I want to let's be honest okay you can totally change the speed, have some fun with this. Um, and I hope you enjoy and I hope you share your link so that you and your friends and your family can have something to play with and have some fun with. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. See ya.